everyone. So today I have just a short and sweet kidney tonic video. So this will, m these uh, simple poses will make your kidneys feel really, really good. Um, the kidneys live in the low back space. So if you're having some low back tightness or soreness or issues, a lot of times that's actually the kidneys. And this is just a really nice short practice to help relieve that. You're just going to need a couple blankets or towels or big beach towels. We'll use them towards the end of the practice. So you're going to find a nice, tall, comfortable seat um, sitting um, with one heel in front of the other, ideally. Um, and ideally, your butt is plugged directly down into the floor. So if you can, avoid a blanket. Um, but notice if your spine is rounding, find a nice, tall seat. And then you're just going to place your left hand on the floor. Reach your right arm up and over. Don't straighten the arm, rather have a nice gentle bend at the elbow so that the energy or the chi or the blood um, flows. You don't want to lock out your joints. And then you're going to imagine like you're high-fiving someone over to the left and you're going to stretch over to the left. And I'm really stretching from my right hip. So instead of kind of cranking down into this left side, I'm reaching up and stretching my away from my right hip. And then I'm really reaching the right hand over. And again, this right elbow stays nice and bent. And then inhale, you're going to come up through center and then switch to the other side. So again, a nice gentle bend in that left elbow, no locking of the joints. And then like you're trying to high five someone over towards the right. And you're going to stretch, stretch, stretch to the left side. The entire time you're anchoring down into your left hip, left sit bone. And then you're just going to tick tock side to side, really nice and slow. And then you add in the breath, so inhale as you come up, and exhale as you tick tock to the side. Inhale, center. Exhale, tick tock. Good, and we're just going to do that a few times. Good, let's take four more rounds. That's one. Two more. Last one. Good. This second uh, pose is, has a little bit of an acupressure point. So you'll just come to sitting on your knees. If you'd like to, you can throw um, a blanket underneath your hips so you get a little bit more height. And then you're going to pull the ears forward and press your thumbs into the arch of the back of the ear. It's kind of like that hard part. And you can press pretty aggressively. And this is a point that helps to relieve the kidneys. And then your four fingers are gonna come around your forehead, just a nice light touch. And then you're just gonna tick tock again, side to side. To me, this uh, action, this pose feels really, really soothing. It's almost like being rocked. Sometimes I like to do this at night just before bed because I feel my energy start to release, my eyes start to close. And it's just a really, really nice sensation. Keep the pressure behind the ears, pr uh, pushing pretty aggressively into the, that point back there. Let's do four more each side. Two more. 
last one. All right. Our third pose today is going to be a plow pose, a really nice supported one. Plow just helps to open up and give space um, right where the kidneys are. So I like to take two blankets, and again, you can use towels preferably, um, not blankets that are like squishy, um, but ones that are kind of more stiff. So you either have, you know, your stiff yoga blankets, or you can also use um, towels as well, like big beach towels tend to be really nice. And um, have your stack be pretty high. So if you need like two or three or even four beach towels or regular towels, totally okay here. So to come into the pose, you're going to lay all the way back and then you're going to kick your feet overhead if you need to get some momentum to do that, great. Be sure not to move your head or your neck around. Just make sure that you have shoulder blade, shoulder blade, and back of head. And then you're going to take the blankets right up into the low, ba uh, right up into the back, as kind of as high up as they will go. And then you're just going to let your bum, your body kind of rest back here. But see, I get this really, really nice space in the low back. This helps to reset the kidneys and flush the kidneys. And then you can take any variation with your hands. I like to reach on the inside and grab the heels and then just use the weight of my arms to bring my legs down. You want to have a nice gentle bend in the knees so that you're not straining the legs, the ribs, to the thighs. And then you'll just find your breath here. Plow pose is a really nice pose to do before bed. Again, this is actually a really nice bedtime routine. This kidney tonic, soothing the kidneys. Kidneys are like the water, so it's like soothing your waters. can even do a nice little bounce rocking pulling your heels forward and back or even from the toes that feels really good sometimes too give it about five to seven more breaths here Come out of this, release the grip of the hands, remove just one of the blankets, and then you're going to just roll on down onto the other blanket, bringing your legs all the way down, reaching your arms overhead, giving some nice extension and length to the body. And you can roll over to your right or to your left side. Come all the way up and around. You can just scoot your butt right back onto one of your blankets or towels. And then you'll pull the flesh out from underneath your sits bone so that you can have this nice little rock forward. Keep the knees nice and bent here. Flex your ankles so your toes point up. And then you're going to take your left hand to the outside of your right knee. And then your right fingertips are going to come directly back behind you. Before we twist, I want you to push into your fingertips to push yourself forward so that you're not rounding or slouching. You get some really nice length in the vertebrae. And then from there, nice little twist. Keep pushing the right knee out into the right hand. As you twist, it'll kind of want to uh, knock in, but keep that knee pushing out into the hand. Press the hand into the knee as well as you twist. and then release switch to the other side right, right hand to the outside of your left knee left fingertips back behind you and again press into the fingertips to lift and get length first and then exhale twist pressing your left knee into your hand and your hand into your knee a couple breaths and 
and then release. That's the practice I have for you guys today. I hope you enjoy. Please be sure to hit the subscribe button or hit the like button so we can know which videos you guys are liking and we'll see you next time.